So today is not going to be a vlog. Today is going to be my top 10 tips for competition dancers. Good morning YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Austin Dillon and today is not a vlog. Today is my top 10 tips for competitive dancers. Okay, right, so the reason I'm making this video is because these are things that I've learned as a dancer and also things as a teacher that people who are serious about competing and people who are serious about dancing, these are things that I think that you should be doing or at least in my opinion, things that you should be doing. Uh, there are also things that I did as a dancer a few years back when I was still competing. Tip number one, always do more than what you do at the studio. So always enroll in summer workshops, summer intensives, um, go to conventions, Take classes at, you know, I don't know where you're from, but near me, I mean, Broadway Dance Center isn't too far. It's like two hours away from New Jersey. So, I mean, I would go there and take class. Um, there are some really, really good summer workshops on the East Coast, as well as the West Coast, and I'm sure all around the country as well. So, look out for those. Tip number two, and this is one that everyone should be doing if you're a dancer. Stretch whenever you get the chance. Whenever you have free time, stretch. Now when I was dancing, I wasn't very flexible. And then when I got into my sophomore year of high school, I actually started to stretch. And I, I, went a little overboard with stretching. I, I would get up about an hour and a half, two hours before school started, and I would stretch, and literally, like just straight, hour and a half, two hours before school, I would stretch. And then at the dance studio, whenever I had a break, or if I wasn't dancing, I was stretching. And if you went to Jamie's Dance Odyssey, which is where I went, you will know that you could always find me in that little room, uh, stretching there was always that little hangout room where the where we would you know like put our stuff and I would always sit there and stretch when I didn't have class um, and that's because I wanted to be more flexible that's it's just that's what you have to do if you want to be more flexible you gotta stretch that's just the, it, it's easy it's easy it's it's common sense so stretch whenever you get the chance tip number three work out strengthen your muscles you want to be as strong as you can. You want your endurance to be as high as you can because you want, so like when you're on stage doing a solo, you don't want to die halfway through. You don't want to die at the end. You need to finish strong, which is why I recommend at least three minute sprints. Three minute sprints will get your endurance up to where it needs to be for a solo because the average solo is about three minutes, maybe a little bit less. It really shouldn't be any longer than three minutes. Um, but yeah, condition. Condition, it's very important. Tip number four, understand that you are at the studio to work, learn, and grow as a dancer. You are there to get better at what you do. You are not there to socialize. You are not there to make friends. And yes, you're going to make friends. Obviously, you're with these people all the time, especially if you're on a competition team. You're most likely with them between three and five days a week, so you're gonna make friends but you don't have to talk about your weekend plans in the middle of ballet class. Tip number five, no matter how many first place trophies you get, no matter how many titles you get, no matter how many scholarships you get, don't let it get to your head. You need to stay humble. You need to, the only way that you're gonna get better is if you act like you've never won a single thing. If you let your little victories get to your head, 
you're gonna get comfortable and you're gonna stay the same person. You're gonna stay the same dancer. You're not gonna wanna grow because you think, I made it. Guess what? You didn't. Because when you get comfortable, someone else is working their butt off. Tip number six, cheer on your fellow dancers. Do not put them down. The dance studio is not a place to judge people. It is not a place to say, I'm better than you. It is a place to encourage others. We should always encourage our fellow dancers, no matter if they just started or if they've been dancing a long time. I don't care if you can do more pirouettes than them. I don't care if your leg is higher because at the end of the day, we're all in it together. Always cheer on everyone. Be positive. Tip number seven, always go hard in every single dance class. Every single class matters and every teacher has something that they can offer you. I don't care if you don't like that style and honestly, if you don't like the style, it's most likely because you're not good at it and you haven't done it enough, so you should be going even harder in those classes. Tip number eight. So, you should always practice and know your choreography. So that this way when you come in, the choreographer can either clean or fix or add on. You should always know your choreography, especially as a competition dancer. It is your job to remember the choreography. It is the choreographer's job to do the choreography. As in the choreographer makes it, that's their job. It is your job to remember it as a competitive dancer. Number nine on this top 10 list is ask questions. I don't know how many times I've done a dance and I've gone to clean it and then someone will say, hey, I don't know this part, but the part's been around for three, maybe even four months. They just never asked the question. They never asked what it was. They just kind of went along because they missed that day when I did that choreography. Ask questions when you have the question. Don't wait until the last second. Number 10, and this is one of my biggest pet peeves. Do not always stand in the back of the class. It's okay to occasionally stand in the back of your class, but I personally believe that you should always change your spot in the room. Like even in one class, change your spot two, maybe three times. So that this way you're not getting comfortable in one spot of the room. So if you go somewhere and you try to learn something, you're not mad that someone's in your spot. Because guess what, you don't have a spot. You should be constantly be changing and I urge you to go to the front of the room if you've never taken that class before, if you've never met that teacher before, go to the front. So don't stand in the back of the class. All right guys, thank you for watching my top 10 tips for competitive dancers. If you like this video, leave a like, drop a comment below, and subscribe. And like always guys, until next time, peace out.